look at what we have here, ladies. You're welcome. From Brad C. Smith, the first Canadian bachelor, on to the next. Ready, set, rose. Here he is, entrepreneur, business school graduate. Tim Warmels puts his professional life on hold to find love on City This Fall on The Bachelor. And very aesthetically pleasing in the monitor, I might add, which is weird coming from a guy's mouth, I just realized. Is there a lot of mentoring happening here? If you guys would like meet fast friends because he's been at this already, through this, rather? Brad gave me a couple pointers here or there. Do none, we want to share those? None of which was useful information. <laughs> Talk to us a little bit about why this was something you wanted to do. Were you a fan of the franchise? Did you see Brad in his quest for love? Why did you decide, first of all, to even um, put yourself in this position for love? Yeah, I had actually never watched the show. I wasn't a huge, huge fan. Um, I just didn't watch a lot of TV. But this was something that I felt was interesting. It was a different way to do it. And it was really, I mean... It's like online dating on steroids. I mean, you have thousands of people across Canada that are that are kind of rooting for you. It's it's a it's wild ride. It's pretty cool. Your life's yeah. about to change. Yeah, big time. What did your family think when you said, um, "Hi guys, so I'm going to be the next Bachelor, and my whole life's going to be on TV <laughs> and unfold in front of the nation as I look for love"? Were they supportive? My family at the outset was not that excited about it. Uh, but as soon as I started going through the journey a little bit, I got to talk with them, and they saw a smile on my face that they had not yeah. seen before. Oh! And I want to know, because the first time I talked to you, it was just, we were about three days away from announcing it. And now that it's set in, now that people know that you're The Bachelor, what's been the reaction from your friends, first off? And, and general, like, how, how welcoming are you feeling in this small little Bachelor family? <laughs> Which is... Just me and you. But <laughs> <laughs> um, my friends are very, very supportive. They, they must be pumped. Come on. They understand that I'm a, I'm a different guy and that, you know, something was needed to, to find me the love of my life. So they were very supportive of this. Does that mean you do find love and you do propose at the end? Here comes the PR training. Know. Yeah, I know. Come on. I'm not allowed to ask those check, questions. Check it out this fall. Very well, very well said. I'm allowed to ask. You're just not allowed to answer. But we look forward to seeing it. Who or what type of woman were you looking for going into this? Did you have... A list, a checkoff list, or what kind of women in general do you, did you do you like to date? I really don't have a, a specific type. There's only really one thing that I know draws me towards a woman, and that is that she's happy with who she is and the road that she's on in life, and that will make me attracted to her. How did it feel to have all the cameras around you all the time? That's something you can never prepare for. No, it's really not. No matter where you come from in life, I mean, having having your life on camera on that many cameras at the same time is uh, it's a daunting thing. Yeah. And oddly, you forget about them very quickly. And I think it's because you realize you're doing something very, very important that actually has nothing to do with these cameras. Mm -hmm. right. It has to do with the rest of your life. Now, Brad, what advice would you give having been there? Because when this airs, this fall on City, it's Thursday nights, 8 p.m., where we can see Tim and all of his adventures, and hopefully we hope that you find love. What advice, because we do know social media and interactivity is huge with these shows, yeah. especially with The Bachelor. You get a lot of love. You get a lot of criticism. You get a lot of everything. What advice would you give well, to Well, you're naturally like putting yourself out there into a situation where a lot of guys would probably be timid and scared of, of doing this because of the positive and negative reaction from it. As you can tell, Tim's a really well-spoken guy, and I think that anything that comes his way, he's really going to handle. I just want to know, night one butterflies. Uh, right. That's a lot of women. How many women? 24, 25? 25 women out of a few Was amounts. it like I said when you're standing there on the tee? Oh, that's the most nervous I've ever been in my life. Yeah. Absolutely. Because it's a lot to take in all at once, and it's like this thing is for real. And you do a lot of travel. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, 55 days, 22 flights. If we weren't filming, you were on a flight. Wow. So it is also very exhausting, which we saw last night with The Bachelorette with Andy. Have you been watching any of the episodes of Andy's season so far? Unfortunately, no. Well, you are part of the whole family now, yeah. <laughs> and our family as well. So thank you so much, and good luck. We look forward to seeing all of your adventures as they unfold and uh, hearing this one chime in and chirp in, as he tends to do. At Brad C. Oh, Smith. Oh, no, I, I won't chirp a fellow, uh, fellow <laughs> Canadian bachelor. At Tim Warmos, Bachelor Canada, Thursdays, 8 p.m., returning this fall on City. It's a tried-and-true franchise because everyone's always looking for love. Some people in the wrong places, but that's not what this show's about. <laughs> it's about looking for love in all the right places. Tim, thank you so much. Thank a pleasure much. meeting you, and good luck. Uh, right now, over to Kev in traffic.